And welcome to this next video where I want to pick up exactly where I left off in the last video and that is how to sort of enhance the nodes around this bowl and sort of get uh, more preferable appearances. So what I want to do first is import another STL file to sort of uh, complete the scene and we'll import a spoon. And notice again this spoon is huge we're looking at the shadow of the spoon <laughs> so I'll start to drag this down to a size that would look a little bit more proportional and uh, what's cool is uh, this spoon was made in collaboration with a channel called all visuals for you go ahead and check out that channel uh, they there's some great tutorials and, and material over there and uh, I'm sure that you'll find uh, some great material on modeling in FreeCAD. So now that I've adjusted the spoon, hopefully to a position that looks a little bit more realistic, I can begin to start thinking about um, what kind of textures I want to put on this scene. So this bowl is my primary focus right now. Notice we went through uh, sort of some materials of glossy and notice now if I change it to sharp there's a stark difference between glossy and uh, glossy GCX and glossy sharp this looks almost like a completely metal mirror or something not realistic at all but if I change this to diffuse uh, that doesn't look great either and so we need to go into some more complex nodes and, and get kind of a happy medium. So I'm going to come down here to my node editor, which I can move around by using my third, third uh, click, third wheel scroll wheel button. And I can say Shift A. And I want to have a mixture between a glossy and a diffuse shader. So notice I just hit Shift A, I choose glossy and put it down, and I have diffuse over here. Now notice if I take this glossy and connect it to my material output, this becomes glossy. If I choose diffuse, I can make it diffuse, but I can't do both. And so the method that, that I have to use to, to choose both is I say Shift A, Shader, and I can come up here and choose Mix Shader. And now notice I can have an extra little spot for my glossy to go. And now I have a mixture between glossy and diffuse. <clears throat> and so I can say, well, I, I want mostly a glossy, but perhaps I want it to be a little bit more sharp as well and have, you know, 50-50 diffuse and whatever. So maybe I'll take the surface roughness on diffuse 0. And sharp, I'll have a surface roughness of 0.2. That looks pretty good. And perhaps I want to have something more like a... Um, sort of a beige type bowl. Well I can come over here to um, my diffuse shader and I can add in sort of a, a beige type color. And I can even have it uh, reflect in the glossy a different type of color which would give it kind of a, an interesting sort of metallic look. So if I come over here and have it reflect maybe something radically different like blue you can see I'm, I'm a beige bowl, but any reflection is blue, which gives it kind of a, an interesting depth, which doesn't look realistic for a bowl, but nonetheless is kind of cool. And so that looks a little bit perhaps more like a ceramic bowl. This down here is looking a little bit too glossy still. So what I can do is change the ratio, right? Right now I'm, I'm half diffuse and half glossy in this mix shader. I can change it to be something like 0.2 and now I'm looking a lot more uh, diffuse or flat. If I want to be more glossy I can choose the opposite and go with 0.8 and now I'm a lot more reflective. But you know if we're going with something like a ceramic bowl I'll go with 0.2. So let's say that the soup bowl is pretty good. Now I want to move my attention to the spoon. Well I want my spoon to be a lot more metallic looking. And so I can choose um, something more glossy like metal. And notice I'm so metallic over here that I need to tone it down. So perhaps I'll say sharp, add a surface roughness of 0.3. Nope, 
I'll have to go with, uh, let's try GGX. That, that looks a lot more like a metal spoon. Notice the surface roughness is what really adds the, uh, the metallic texture. So maybe go with a little less roughness, like 0.1. Brilliant, that looks just like a metal spoon. So here I've got a scene that I can, um, I, I really feel like, uh, you know, adds a little bit of, uh, of realism. I think my bowl especially could use a little bit more roughness. Let's go with the 0.5 roughness. And I can do the same. Yeah, that surface roughness looks a little bit more ceramic. Uh, perhaps I'm going to add one more plane and I'll rotate this plane 90 degrees on the Y axis and maybe I can rotate 45 degrees on the Z axis and um, maybe rotate 90 degrees again on the Z axis that's kind of the angle that I want and I can scale it up and I can move this plane up and begin moving this plane back. I'm going to create just kind of a little backsplash and so our scene will look a little bit more exciting. Scale it up a little further there you go. I don't know if you can hear my computer fan, but it takes a little bit of power to, to render on the fly like this. And so now with this backsplash, um, I can start adding a texture. Maybe I'll go with diffuse, and that works really well with UV maps. And I'll say tab, U, enter, tab, of course. And now I've unwrapped this so that I can add an image texture. So shift A, texture, and we'll go with image texture and connect our dots so it'll turn pink. And I'll choose kind of a backsplash. And uh, perhaps I can enter an address here that uh, will take me to my base colors. Again, I just have a group of you know PNG pictures. And maybe I can do an ornate kind of tile. Uh, maybe tiles ornate 02. Yeah, that looks pretty kind of kitcheny. And then I can uh, either scale my plane to be a little bit smaller, so that I can sort of see the the ornate nature of these tiles a little bit more. Or I can, of course, adjust uh, the scaling over here. And since this is a seamless texture, I can even say. 10 to 10 and you, and you really can't tell where the image stops and starts because it's seamless. Of course that's a little bit small for my taste and so I'm going to go back to 1 to 1. And there I've got uh, kind of a nice scene. So join me in the next video where we'll talk about um, rendering options and, and ways of rendering uh, this scene. I'll see you in, I'll see you in the